Yo, continuing with the vlogs. Uh, don't ask me what the fuck that sound was, but anyways. Kids are playing outside, shitty weather, everything's melting, it's wet, but you know, they gotta get outside anyways. See the nice mess I made? So what I did is I went, like I was saying about the uh, wire wheel, and then my extension cord isn't long enough, I want to clean up the back of the drums a little bit, but I did clean the drums up. Right now they're, they, well they look wet because they were in the snow, so what I'm going to do is take some brake cleaner and clean them off real good. And uh, probably bring them up so inside so they dry. And tomorrow I have some high temp black paint. Treat that. Get that nice and good. And uh, that's about it. Just got to clean this up a little bit. The inside. Get rid of some of that rustation. And uh, that's about it for today. We're going to go back after supper to Canadian Tire so I can get the proper size lines. Because they're 311 so I think and I need 3 4 inch thread. And uh, that's what I'm doing right now. Always outside, always moving forward. Should get the parts for the Jeep soon so I can finally get this baby up and running. And uh, that's about it. And then I'll clean the inside of this out. Maybe bring it to uh, Estetic Sherbrooke, which is a local place, and uh, have them detail it, wash the carpets and stuff. That would be really nice. Get it nice and clean. Or uh, just vacuum it out myself and in spring go and get it done because I have to rip up the carpets if I'm going to do the floors in spring anyway. So it's kind of like wasting money right now for nothing. Come to think of it. So uh, And the neighbor has been asking me for two days to put his fucking winter tires on. I said, dude, you're going to pay me? You know, like, I have four kids and a million things to do. I don't mind helping somebody out, but, you know, help me out too at the same time. So I'm like, give me 20 bucks and I'll change them. So that's not very expensive. All right, let me go inside and get the proper uh, or a longer inst inspection cord. Oh my god, I can't say that word, but anyways, extension in French. I'm losing my, I'm losing my freaking English. So, uh, so are there supposed to be that many holes out here? Maybe I don't know. Maybe to let the water out or whatever, humidity in or out, or whatever. Cool. So uh, that's it. That's on the menu. Let's keep moving forward. Hey, peeps. So I, I sprayed them down. I mean, they're not perfect, but you know, it's it's worth worth the try to to buff them out. All right, peeps. So uh, I don't really like that brake cleaner. If you guys ever go to the Canadian Tire Certified, there's like no fucking pressure in the can, just like a mist. So I ended up using like almost a whole can on a job, though. You know, use like a quarter. So buff those out, both of them. I, if anybody knows what the hell this is for. Please let me know. It almost seems like it's a balancing mechanism, but I don't know why the other side doesn't have it. So, I buffed this out. It doesn't look perfect, but it was way worse. I mostly buffed where the pads are going to sit so I can put some uh, brake grease on there. So I get that working fine. Also turned her over. It's been a few days. Humidity and stuff started right up. Woo 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 woo! It's got a lot of black soot coming out. The catalyzer's fucking finished. And uh, I did the same on this side. Just buffed it up a little bit, cleaned it up. Getting ready for the hardware. I don't know if you guys saw under the hood. You, you know, it's like it's so like all this is is all anti-rust. That's why it looks horrible. Like it's chi looks like the metal's chipping away, but it's all anti-rust. I'm gonna clean that up in spring. And look at that fuck. You can't open the hood without fucking getting black on yourself, which is good. I mean, they preserved the vehicle well doing that. Some other things like this, you know, the brackets. If I do ever take the motor apart, I'm gonna get those sandblasted and maybe even powder coated. The rail I might switch out because it's rust. You know, I'll just clean it up a little bit here. And, uh, yeah, this is the pulley that's squealing like a bastard. It's not really loose, but the bearing. The bearing's squealing really bad. Oh, you can see how loose that is. I got one in the mail anyways. So, yeah, mini update. Just keep moving forward, I guess. Just get this thing on the road, then we can do some trail videos with it. 
Sunday I got to meet with the local guys at the Jacko, and uh, we'll go from there. So I'll catch you guys later. What is kicking? It's a new day. It's Friday. I'm off today. It's like 8.30 in the morning. Got Logan, my buddy, with me outside. He's kind of playing in the snow, or whatever you want to call snow, but... Uh, last night our washing machine died on us, so we went and, uh, to a Specialist de l'Estrie. It's like a local uh, place that's all they sell, washer, dryer, fridge, stove, etc., etc. And uh, we financed the new uh, Maytag washing machine with a four-year guarantee because, you know, the washing machine here, like, runs all fucking day long. Four kids and two adults. Plus proche, mon âme. Podari. No, not in the road. So right now I prepared the back of the van for uh, Noemi. Just has to go to the uh, the warehouse, l'entrepôt, and they're gonna throw it in the back of the van, and she's gonna bring it on over. We're gonna leave it there for now because I need a buddy to help me bring it in and move the old one. But at least it'll be home. Right now I went back and got the proper lines. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bend them to resemble the shape of the old ones and uh, feed them on to the, uh, the little square box thingy down there and uh, waiting on parts that are supposed to be delivered today I have customs probably to pay anything over a hundred dollars you have to pay a little bit so I got money in my pocket and I'm waiting for the guy to show up and then I can continue on my mission to getting brakes on this thing and then I can get it off the jack stands and we can try it out clean it up a little bit because there's a lot of dirt and stuff maybe go to like a car wash vacuum it out etc etc today we'll see and uh, that's what's on the menu today work 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 get this jeep back on the road so catch you guys later all right peeps went together pretty well got the new lines fed there's one you can see they're going to the box out back leading over the, uh, the one that's going to the passenger side, the right side of the vehicle, is a little bit longer than I would have liked. So I have to make the curves a little bit more, more deeper, bigger. Ah, I was a bitch to get that in that little, that little metal thing right there. You can see. But it's in. I still have to, to bend it and adjust it once everything's on. So new lines are waiting for the parts, which is great. And uh, right now I'm gonna, there's that little plastic clock thing that's in the Jeep. I'll bring you guys closer once I get there. I'm gonna go and crazy glue it so it stops fucking moving around, hopping around. So I'll do that while I'm waiting for parts. My wife has gone to get the washing machine. She's gone. She's been gone for about 20 minutes. The boys over there are gonna load it in for her, so that's great. I got my little helper here, Logan. He seems upset today, I don't know why. Other kids are going to school and he doesn't like that very much. So, two screws, pop the dash, I'll try to readjust the radio again, and glue that uh, that clock faceplate. So cool. Keep moving forward, peeps. Alright, out with the old. Noemi's cleaning the spot for the new. It's always interesting the shit you find behind. There's nothing, but it's dirty. Doing well, it's like dusty. Things. No, it's dirty. It's well, if the gearbox let go, it probably leaks some oil and crap. So, all right. I'm going to go outside a bit. I'm going to wait to see if I can get some help with the new... I will. Oh, you're going to help me? Yeah. Okay. Get those strong arms out. All right, peeps. So we're going to go lug the new one in. Whoa, I got cut off by a phone call. Sorry, peeps. So I was inside. I was saying that uh, Noemi's going to get her muscles out so we can bring the the new washing machine in and uh, my stepfather's on the way while well, my mom's boyfriend actually her ex-husband when I was a kid he's on his way she's going back out with him which is cool that's a nice big box oh we do have new hoses that's cool they just threw it in as an extra I guess and uh, after that I'm probably gonna fucking come back out wait for UPS take the idler pulley off the the Jeep Logan's back outside you, he gets really upset when I tell him he's going to come outside. Once he's outside, he has a ball. So it's like, I don't understand. 
So yeah, I'm gonna take the idler pulley off and then just wait for my parts and slowly throw things back together. Hopefully by the end of the day, that thing will be back down on its wheels and ready to go. We'll have to uh, bleed the system out, fill it up, and be good to go. Fuck. The only other big thing I'll have to do, I'll have to lie under it and uh, put the handbrake cables back in. It's not too, too bad. You know, it's pretty straightforward where they go and what they do, so it's a little bit better than the uh, than the lines because you got to bend them and align them and they can't touch anything, and yada, yada, yada. All right, I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to get this in so we can start some wash because the fucking hamper is full and a half, so we need to get her done. Okay, bye. What's up? So the uh, washing machine is installed. I removed the idler pulley. I was saying you can... Oh, you can feel that bearing is... It's dead. <laughs> Time to switch it out. That's what was causing the squeal. That's good to know. I didn't I didn't remove it and assess the problem, but I was pretty sure because you could, you could hear it was coming from there. I put the seats and the stuff back in the van the way it's supposed to go, so now you can go pick up the kids at 3. And uh, that's it. Waiting on parts. Waiting for uh, UPS to show up. So I can get my things. The only other hard part I have is to lie under there and get the uh, the uh, emergency brake on. And uh, that's about it. And we're good to go. The rest is cheesy easy, easy wheezy. I might remove that stabilizer bar. A lot of people say it's not. You know, there's no really big use of having it there. So, or I might just leave it there for now and drop it when I do the uh, the bastard. As I call it, the bastard leaf spring uh, jack up. Give me about three to three and a half inches in the back. Um, what you do is you take uh, Chevy S10 uh, rear leaf springs, and uh, you cut the the well. They have you know the bushings on each end of the leaf springs. On the Chevy, you cut those off at a certain length, and you put your long one from the Cherokee onto the pack, and they fit right in. It gives you a three inch lift not very expensive to do that and uh, after that I'll you know remove the sway bar make sure everything's fine probably drop the oil out of the, uh, the differential this is in spring I'm talking right now I'm just gonna run it like this I also have to fix the corners down there underneath it's starting to rot a little bit kind of normal 91 and uh, looks like it's sinking in the ground it just keeps sinking in I don't even know if this wheel's touching anymore. Okay, yeah, it's still touching. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, do that. Remove the sway bar. Put on the bastard lift. Then I'll just start working on the front end. I'll get, I'll get springs. Oh, yeah, I'll change the shocks, too, at the same time while I'm in the back. So I'll do things slowly but surely. Get it straight. The jack, you know, jacking it up like that won't cost too much. Probably about... 40 bucks for the S10s or 50 and I'm probably going to get another set of Cherokees as well because these ones are really old and they're you know they're, they're getting used they're saggy they don't look so good and uh, so about 100 bucks to do that plus about 60 bucks a shock so that's not too too bad the ass end will be done and uh, then I'll work on the front the front will be more expensive because I'll need shocks and I'll also need uh, the coil springs and then the adjustable uh, pitman arm and every, everything else that comes with jacking up the front end. So, you know, I don't want it to roll. I want it to drive nice. And uh, that's about it. A little update waiting for UPS. I'm fucking anxious. Is it show? I got Mark on the way with the car that we're selling to uh, Noemi's sister. $600. Uh, vehicle it is a uh, Dodge Colt a little car first car automatic it's her first car she's a young girl I don't think you want to invest into like a three thousand dollar first vehicle you know just for the fact that you can fuck up and lose the vehicle it's done I'm taking a little risk here this is well this is this is my first vehicle that I'm gonna drive legally on the road I shouldn't be saying this on video but I mean if they never caught me they can't prove shit but, uh, and I really wanted a Cherokee, so 
I'll just have to be careful because the ass end, I guess, whips out a lot on these. So I'll get some sandbags or, or a little rock like what they have on the walkway there. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'll try to zoom in. Oh my god, that's horrible. It fucking looks like Minecraft. But pebbles, little pebbles like this almost. I'll get like three, four bags. So if I do get stuck as well, I can use a bag and just throw it down and get the fuck out of there. So yeah, that's about it. Waiting on UPS. Catch you later. Time to eat lunch.